Want to speak real Thai from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at thaipod101.com. Hello, welcome back to Top Words with me, Jay. Today we are learning ten ways to remember words. Okay, let's begin. การอ่านหนังสือเยอะๆโดยการอ่านหนังสือพิมพ์ช่วยให้ฉันจำคำศัพท์ได้ Reading as much as possible, especially the newspaper, helps me to remember words. True, I mean, but it doesn't have to be newspapers. For me, I love reading novels. So by studying from reading something that you like, it's a good way to learn the language and improve your reading skill. ฉันจำคำศัพท์ใหม่ๆโดยโยงกับเรื่องราวเกมหรือภาพยนตร์ I associate new words with stories, games or movies. For example, the word ใกล้ or ใกล้ the pronunciation is the same, but the intonation are different. So if you just read, you might not be able to remember how it will be used. But if you Watch a movie, and you see the real situation of how these words are used. Then it will be easier for you to remember. ฉันพยายามคิดเป็นภาษาไทยเพื่อที่จะได้มีกระบวนการคิดเป็นภาษาไทยโดยธรรมชาติ I try to think in Thai, so it becomes natural to my thought process. I found out that by thinking in English is faster. When I want to speak or communicate with people, and it's more natural, like you don't have to translate back and forth. Don't translate inside here; it won't work. ฉันพยายามพูดกับเจ้าของภาษาให้บ่อยที่สุดเท่าที่ทำได้ I speak as often as possible with native speakers. Not many people learn Thai, so if you try to speak Thai. To Thai people, I think they are more willing to talk in Thai back to you because we just love people who want to learn our language. ฉันพยายามใช้คำใหม่ๆในประโยคง่ายๆเพื่อจะได้เรียนรู้ทางประโยคไม่ใช่แค่คำใดคำหนึ่ง I try to use the new word in a simple sentence, so I learn whole phrases. Not just individual words. For example, um, what what should I give an example on? Um, ฉันรักสุนัขของฉัน I love my dog. Yeah. So love is not visual, and you might not be able to remember that love in Thai is รัก by forming a sentence. Now you understand everything as a whole. ฉันพยายามใช้ภาษาที่เรียนอยู่เป็นประจำในชีวิตประจำวัน I try to use the language I'm learning routinely in the context of daily life. One way to help you use it regularly <laughs> in a daily basis is having a boyfriend, a girlfriend, using that language. For example, if you're learning Thai, try to find. Thai girlfriend, Thai boyfriend, then yeah, <laughs> it helps. ฉันพูดคำศัพท์ออกมาดังๆเพื่อให้ตัวเองได้ยิน I say words out loud so that I can actually hear them. It helps with your pronunciation, intonation, speaking skill in general, so that when you read or say words or sentences out loud, you you hear. What has gone wrong with your speaking? So it's a good way to improve your speaking skill. ฉันฟังเพลงและจำเนื้อเพลง I listen to songs and memorize the lyrics. There are a lot of good Thai songs for you to listen. My recommendation would be um from this singer called a uh, stamp. I don't know if you have heard. You might try to search on YouTube and stamp in English, like stamp on a letter. Yeah, stamp and Thai singer, and I think his song is pretty cool. 
ฉันหมั่นฝึกฝนทุกวันโดยพูดกับคนในครอบครัวหรือสุนัขที่บ้านถึงแม้ทุกคนจะฟังไม่รู้เรื่องก็ตาม I am persistent in practicing every day by talking to my family or my dogs, even though they don't understand me. Desperate to have to talk to a dog, but <laughs> yeah, sometimes I talk to my dog as well. I think I guess it's normal. จำคำศัพท์โดยใช้ flat card. Remembering words by using flash cards. I think it's Pretty convenient because it's small, and on train or on a bus, you can just flip them over and remember words while you are traveling. Thank you for listening. Today we have done ten ways to remember words. So, are you able to remember every sentence I taught you so far? If you don't, then you can watch the video from the start. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye. Today we're going to talk about four techniques to help you stop translating in your head, and instead start thinking in your target language. This will allow you to have conversations with ease, read smoothly, and better understand native speakers. These are four methods to help you think in a new language. Number one, surround yourself with your target language. This way, you'll be completely immersed in the language. Without realizing it, you'll learn pronunciation, sentence structures, grammar, and new vocabulary. Play music in the background while you're cooking, or have a radio station on while you study. Just use one of our endless podcasts available to you. These are easy to listen to in the background while doing other things. Number two. Learn through observation. This is how we all learned our native languages as kids. Words will develop their own meanings that relate better to your target language, rather than meanings that are translated directly. Number three, speak out loud to yourself. Even if you're a little embarrassed, it forces you to listen to how you speak. It makes it much easier to spot simple grammar mistakes. Number four. Practice daily. If you practice everything for only one day, you won't retain the information you learned. The brain can realistically only focus for about 30 minutes, so studying a little every day allows you to absorb better. Follow these steps and have patience. You'll soon be able to achieve your language learning goals. Just make sure to remember these four methods. Sign up for your free lifetime account. No credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources. And start learning more every day. Want to finally start speaking in your target language? In this guide, you'll discover the top seven ways to practice speaking on your own with our lessons. Let's begin. Number one, shadowing. Shadowing is a proven learning technique where all you do is repeat what you hear in order to practice speaking. So access any audio or video lesson on the site and press the play button to start. Then, as you listen or watch, just repeat the conversations. Or even easier, read along out loud with the dialogue section. The script is right there in front of you. With our lessons, you can master entire conversations just like that. Number two, read out loud. I just mentioned it, but reading out loud is another powerful tactic and deserves its own mention. With every lesson, you get written transcripts and translations. So as you play the lesson, read the dialogue out loud as you hear it. Why? By reading out loud, you're also practicing your speaking skills. You can do this with the lesson notes, the lesson transcript, or the dialogue tool. With the dialogue tool, you can listen to each line again and again, and repeat out loud until you master them all. Number three, speed up your reading to speed up your speaking. Being able to speak without thinking is a sign of language mastery. If you're talking to a native and can respond quickly, they'll assume that you're fairly fluent. How can you do this? When you read out loud, try increasing your speed a little bit every time. So start by reading with the dialogue tool. If you're like most learners, you'll read the first line slowly, 
That's because you're still getting used to the words, which is okay. Reread it. On your second try, you know most of the words and you'll read a little faster. Reread it again. On your third try, you'll be even faster at a native speaker's speed. And being able to read these phrases out loud and fast will help you speak fast. Number four, record and compare yourself with native speakers. In order to sound like a native speaker, you must imitate native speakers. So here's how. Access the voice recorder, which is in the dialogue study tool in every lesson. Click on the microphone icon, listen to the native speaker's audio, and then record yourself. You can then compare the two recordings side by side and practice and try again and again until you perfect your pronunciation. Number five, get feedback from our Premium Plus teacher. If you're learning by yourself and don't have access to real teachers, then you can always get feedback from our Premium Plus teachers. With the My Teacher tool, you can record yourself speaking and send the audio file to the teacher. They'll review it and tell you what to improve and how. That's it. Number six, level up your speaking with Premium Plus assignments. With Premium Plus, you can also get assignments that cover reading, writing, listening, and even speaking from your teacher. These assignments can be tailored to your goals and needs. You get a new one every week or anytime you're ready for a new one. Number seven, get even more lessons in the lesson library. If you want even more lessons on speaking and conversations, visit our lesson library and under category, choose conversation. You'll get all of the pathways and lessons that are focused on speaking. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share it with anyone who's trying to learn a language and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. I'll see you next time. Bye. Want to speak real Thai from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at ThaiPod101.com. Hello, guys. I'm Jay. Today, we are going to do top 15 Thai words chosen by fans. Let's begin. Krung Thep, Bangkok. Krung Thep, which literally means a city of gods. But the real name of Bangkok is actually the longest capital city's name in the world. You ready? Okay. กรุงเทพมหานครอมรรัตนโกสินทร์มหินทราราชธานีบุรีโรมอุดมราชนิเวศมหาสถานอมรพิมานอวตารสถิตสกทัตติยะวิษณุกรรมประสิทธิ์ Okay I did it Okay that's the whole name long isn't it ขอบคุณ Thank you ขอบคุณ means Thank you. Khopkun ka for girls and khopkun krab for guys. But like for people who are younger than you or someone that you feel close to, like your close friends, you might as well say khop jai. It's a less formal word for khopkun. Khop jai. Khotot. I'm sorry. For the word khotot, we have two meanings. First is sorry. And the second one is excuse me. You want to call someone like excuse me, you can say Kothod ka, something like that. Arai, what? When people talk too fast and I don't really follow what they're talking about, I would say like what? What? So in Thai you say Arai, Arai na, Arai ya, Arai na. So it's like what? Jing, true. Jing means true or really. When they say something and you want to ask them, really? Is it like that? Really? You can say, Jing Ro, Jing Nga, Jing Ro Ha, something like this. Bye, 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 like bye bye. In Thai, we also say bye, like bye, bye. Actually, it comes from English words, so yeah. <laughs> it doesn't use in a formal situation. Normally, we would say La Gon. La God mean goodbye, farewell in Thai, and, but it's very formal. Mi kwam suk, happy. Mi kwam suk means happy. Mi actually means have. 
ความสุข is happiness you can say like มีความสุขมีความสุขจังเลยรถไฟ train รถไฟ train in English in Thailand we have train a lot but it's not a popular way I won't recommend it personally but you can try because first it's quite slow for me normally when I travel I fly I travel by plane not by train but you can try รัก love รัก meaning love รัก is a verb if you want to say like love as a noun you say it ความรักความรัก you love the person like I love you you say something like ฉันรักคุณฉันรักคุณฉัน is I love is รัก and คุณ is you so I love you ฉันรักคุณสวัสดี hello let me do this สวัสดีค่ะ meaning hello but it has another meaning means goodbye so you can say สวัสดี for hello or goodbye this is another way to say goodbye but in formal way like สวัสดีสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีครับสุดยอด awesome 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 it's awesome you know you can say สุดยอดสุดยอดเลย don't forget to give them a thumb like สุดยอดเลยอิสระภาพ freedom อิสระภาพ means freedom if you want to say I want to have freedom you can say in Thai ฉันอยากมีอิสระภาพฉันอยากมีอิสระภาพ you can do it เคารพ respect เคารพ meaning respect you can say I respect you like in Thai you can say to her or to him ฉันเคารพคุณนะฉันเคารพคุณนะแม่ mother แม่อ๋อคุณแม่ means mother or mom a more formal word is คุณแม่แม่คุณชื่ออะไรแม่คุณชื่ออะไร what is your mom's name โรงเรียน school โรงเรียน school like do you want to go to school do you like school like คุณชอบไปโรงเรียนไหม okay now we are done with today lessons okay um can you remember them all which is your favorite word anyway so anyway please don't forget to subscribe our channel and see you next time bye bye Bangkok means there's no meaning sorry <laughs> no no yeah. you've decided to study a new language so now what well you want to become fluent fast right here are the top five shortcuts to learning a language Number one, create a study schedule and set some goals. Many language learners are unorganized. Creating a schedule allows you to free up time to study consistently. Goals give you motivation and something to strive for. Number two, make it fun. If you learn how to make your study time enjoyable, chances are you'll be more inclined to study. Watch a TV show with subtitles or listen to some music. Number three, find a language partner. This is the best way to improve your conversation skills. It will help you gain fluency even faster and increase confidence when speaking. Number four, use word lists to build up a solid vocabulary. This is a great way to build up your fluency, one word at a time. Luckily, we have all the word lists you need, with a range of topics, from food to love. Choose whichever language you want to study and go! Number five, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Nothing helps you improve more than correcting your own errors. You're more likely to remember it correctly the next time around. Everyone makes mistakes. Don't be afraid to learn from them. There's no magical way to learn a new language overnight. But doing all of these can really help your learning process. And remember, if you're interested in getting on the fast track to fluency, sign up for your free lifetime account, no credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources. Start learning now.
Hello everyone, welcome back to Thai Top Words. I'm Jay, and today we'll be doing top 10 most common tourist vocabulary. Let's get started. ตัว ticket, ตัว ticket, ซื้อตั๋วรถไฟหรือยัง Have you bought a train ticket? นักท่องเที่ยว tourist, นักท่องเที่ยว tourist, นักท่องเที่ยวกำลังถ่ายภาพสัตว์ The tourist is taking pictures of the animals. แผนการเดินทาง itinerary. แผนการเดินทาง itinerary. มีแผนการเดินทางหรือยัง Have you had an itinerary? หนังสือนำเที่ยว guidebook. หนังสือนำเที่ยว guidebook. หนังสือนำเที่ยวเล่มนี้ดีมาก This guidebook is very good. I think in Thailand, if you go to a bookstore. Guidebooks is a type of books that sold really, really well. I think a lot of Thai people love to buy those guidebooks. But for me personally, I have never bought any because I always just like you know search on the internet and find everything there. รถทัวร์ทัวร์บัสรถทัวร์ทัวร์บัสฉันไปกรุงเทพโดยรถทัวร์ I go to Bangkok by a tour bus. What Temple, what temple? ผู้คนมากมายไปวัดเพื่อสวดมนต์ Many people go to temples to pray. I usually go to temple to pray and also to meditate because Thai temple is very, you know, like calm and quiet. So it's a good place if you want to practice meditation. ทะเลสีทะเลสีฉันชอบไปทะเล I like to go to the sea. If I feel like going to the sea, normally I'll choose to go to h u a h i n or Pattaya. They are beach cities, so the sea are great. Then there are a lot of seafood there too. ภูเขา mountain. ภูเขา mountain. ช่วงหน้าหนาวเราควรไปเที่ยวภูเขา During winter, we should travel at a mountain. If you want to chill and be surrounded by mountains, I recommend you to go to Khao Yai. It's very chill, and I think the the air is fresh. However, if you want to go for like trekking, like climbing mountains, then it it is better to go to um p u k r a d u n g I think. This is one of the best trekking mountain for me. น้ำตก waterfall. น้ำตก waterfall. น้ำตกแห่งนี้สวยมาก This waterfall is very beautiful. I recommend you to go to Erawan waterfall. I went there when I was young and I loved it. เที่ยว to travel. เที่ยว to travel. ไปเที่ยวกันเถอะ Let's travel. Yay. Thank you guys for watching. We are done for today. Personally, for me, when I travel, I love to go to the sea, t a l e or mountain, p u k a o How about you guys? If you travel to Thailand, um, where do you want to visit the most? Tell us in the comment below, and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and as always, visit our website at thaipod101.com. See you next time. Bye bye. Want to speak real Thai from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at ThaiPod101.com. Hello, guys! Welcome back. I'm Jay, and today we are going to do top 10 hardest words to pronounce. Let's begin. กรุงเทพมหานคร Bangkok. กรุงเทพมหานคร If you go to Thailand and you hear people talk about Bangkok, they will say กรุงเทพ because, like, conversation-wise, it's easier to. To pronounce like that, k r u n g t e p but a longer name is k r u n g t e p Mahanakorn. But do you know that the real name of Bangkok is actually the longest city name in the world? Even for Thai, it's very difficult to remember the whole name. So, the whole name of Bangkok is k r u n g t e p Mahanakorn Amon Ratanakosin Mahin Thara Yutthaya Mahadilok. พบนพรัตน์ราชธานีบุรีรมอุดมราชนิเวศมหาสถานอมรพิมานอวตารสถิตสกทัตติยะวิษณุกรรมประสิทธิ์เย่ it's like I was rapping 
ข้าวขาว white rice one is like higher than another so ข้าวขาว means white rice the rice that we eat that's called ข้าวขาวข้าว means rice and ขาว means white so together it's like white rice ข้าวขาวควาย buffalo in Thailand there are a lot of buffaloes in rural areas but it looks very different from those in the states like in the states if you're talking about buffaloes it's more of like a bigger like more hairy like hairy creatures you see but Thai buffaloes look very different like they are hairless smaller in size you can see a lot of that in Thailand ตัดทอน reduce actually the first word ตัด meaning cut is like cut down something so ตัดทอน means reduce but it's quite formal so for me I don't really use this word myself like personally I don't really use this word but you can see it in the documents news so ตัดทอน reduce ทฤษฎี theory in Thai is ทฤษฎี okay to tell you a secret even I don't pronounce this word properly when I talk because it's very difficult to pronounce it like correctly in daily life I just say ทฤษฎีทฤษฎี but it's wrong though so the correct way of pronouncing this is ทฤษฎีประพฤต behave ประพฤต behave let's practice again ประพฤตประ and then พฤต like L sound within the word so it's like ประพฤตรุนแรง violent รุนแรง violent the only difficult part is you have to click your tongue when you while you're speaking like r you can try r r r r r r like that and then when you use it when you form a word it would be รุนแรงรุนแรง aroy delicious so aroy aroy a roy and you say it faster aroy but don't confuse this word to what which is aroy for me I have a foreigner friend and I always ask him to pronounce this um this sentence Which is everything is delicious. อะไรอะไรก็อร่อยอะไร is what like whatever you eat is delicious. So อะไรอะไรก็อร่อยโรงเรียนโรงเรียน school same as what I have taught you so far. So r sound โรงเรียน and say it faster โรงเรียน That's school. ง่าย easy. ง่าย meaning easy. Like thinking of singing, singing the ng sound. You use that sound in front of the word. ง่าย ng ่าย Is it easy? ง่ายไหม I don't think it is, <laughs> but it's a good word to learn. Now we are done with the lesson. How many can you actually pronounce? I know it's it's difficult. Even for me, it's difficult. So don't be discouraged by this lesson. Just try practice it. But anyway, okay. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe our channel. See you next time. Bye. สวัสดีค่ะ Hello everyone. Welcome to Thai Weekly Words. In this program, we'll be learning new Thai words every week. So I won't know which word. We'll be learning today, and you won't know either. So let's do this together. And the topic of this week would be hobbies. งานอดิเรก in Thai. The first word is w a t or to draw. I'm sure everyone used to draw a lot of pictures when they were kids. ฉันชอบวาดรูป I like to draw. The second word is t h e n to dance. I'm not really a good dancer, but I'm sure um, many of you are. ไปเต้นในงานปาร์ตี้กันเถอะ Let's go dancing in the party. The next word is ท่องอินเทอร์เน็ต to surf the internet. Mm, this is 
quite popular in Thailand right now วัยรุ่นคนไทยสมัยนี้ชอบท่องอินเทอร์เน็ต Thai teenagers nowadays like to surf the internet for a tip you can use LAN internet as well the next word is สะสมสแตม to collect stamps well I used to collect stamps long time ago <laughs> Okay, beautiful picture stamps. <laughs> What kind of stamps? Hmm. เด็กๆสมัยก่อนชอบสะสมสแตม In the past, children like to collect stamp. The next word is เล่นหมากรุก to play chess. So in Thailand, we do have um a Thai chess, which is quite similar to the chess we know, but um the pieces are different. So if you're interested, you can learn how to play Thai chess as well. เขาเล่นหมากรุกไทยเก่งมาก He is very good at playing Thai chess. The end. <laughs> so that's all the words we learned today in the topic of hobbies. So if you have any questions or any comments, please let us know. Thank you and see you next time. Bye. Hello and welcome back to Thai Weekly Words with me, Prathana. This week we'll be learning words about studying a language, เรียนภาษาคำกริยา verb คำว่าวิ่งเป็นคำกริยา the word to run is a verb คำนาม noun ประธานของประโยคมักเป็นคำนาม the subject of a sentence is usually a noun บทเรียน lesson บทเรียนวันนี้ยากมาก today's lesson is very difficult คำถาม question คุณครูถามคำถามกับนักเรียน the teacher asked questions to the students อ่านออกเสียง to read aloud การอ่านออกเสียงทำให้จำประโยคได้ to read the sentence aloud helps you remember it and that's the end for today's Thai weekly words if you have any comments or questions please be sure to let us know and we'll see you in the next Thai weekly words bye Hello and welcome back to Thai Weekly Words with me, Prathana. This week we'll be learning about life events. เหตุการณ์ต่างๆในชีวิตเกิด to be born. ฉันเกิดในเดือนสิงหาคม I was born in August. I'm a Leo. การสำเร็จการศึกษา graduation. วันสำเร็จการศึกษาสำหรับคนไทยถือเป็นวันสำคัญมาก graduation day for Thailand is a very important day, so you'll find that the graduate actually wake up at like 4 a.m. in the morning to get their makeup and hairs done to look their best on their graduation day. That's how important it is for for Thai um, university students and graduates. ได้งาน to get a job. เขาเรียนจบปุ๊บก็ได้งานทันที He got a job as soon as he graduated. What a lucky guy! ต่งงาน to marry. เจ้านายของฉันแต่งงานแล้ว My boss is married. กเกษียน to retire. ที่เมืองไทยคนส่วนใหญ่กเกษียณที่อายุ60 In Thailand, most people retire when they are 60 years old. And that's the end for today's Thai Weekly Words. We're happy to hear your questions or comments. So if you have any, please let us know. And we'll see you in the next Thai Weekly Words. Bye. Mm-hmm.